was a time of love. Love was everywhere, in our homes, in the streets, even in our cars, especially in one little car. He was known as Herbie, and he was amazing, full of love, able to do incredible things. He was a daring little car, wild, willing to try almost anything, all for the love of his owner, Jim Douglas. But that was then. This is now. I don't believe you. Come on, move it. Come on, show me something. And bring it up the rear in number 53, Sniper for the third. Last. You yeah, have going to be kidding me. Wow. Last. I mean, second place is one thing, but last. <laughs> That's a first, Simon. I mean, I don't understand. I mean, this is the Jim Douglas car. It's the one you asked for. It's, it's the one that won all those races. Hey, so it's not much of a racing car anymore. That's not your fault. <laughs> I thought you'd be angry. No. No, not at all. But you need to do me a favor. Yeah, sure. Good. Get rid of it. You get rid of it just like that? Now, I know I spoke clearly, and I know I used proper English since we invented the bloody language! Yes, you did. Yes, we did. So, remove this heap from my sight. Now, take it to the junkyard. <laughs> well, <laughs> Veronica, that was a bit of an embarrassment, wasn't it? <laughs> I should be racing Formula One again, that's all. They never proved I sabotaged anything. So they had no right to boot me down to this ridiculous class of tiny cars. It's outrageous. I deserve more. I need a car that's worthy of me. A car that wins no matter what. Rupert, hurry up! We're going! Okay. End of the road, little car. But the real story, Dave, in front of the pack was veteran driver, get this, Rudy Walters. Oh, Walters? Oh, oh, come on, Rudy Walters. This is coming out of your paycheck, eh? No, this is your paycheck. It wasn't even a good race. I mean, come on. Rudy Walters? I used to race circles around guys like Walters. I think they called that spinning out. Hey, Hank. Hey, Chuck. Roddy here. Now, he's a freeloader. I know that, and I accept it in him. Artist. Installation artist. Freeloader. The difference is, I've known him since he was a kid. And strange as it may seem, I trust his judgment. He says you need a job. I give you a job. He says you need a place to stay. I give you a place to stay. Now, what you need right now is a big kick in the head. Well, maybe now's a good time to stop giving me stuff. Here, Chuck. What, you've never seen a guy get hollered at before? Hey, if it isn't the wage slave. Knock it off, Roddy. Now, I know this shop is a joke. And I know the guys who work here are fools, including you, if you must know. I don't have to know that. What I'm trying to say, Hank, I mean, I really think this could be something someday. Now, that's where you come in. Come in how? What, you want me to whip up some art? No, no, no. That's Roddy's deal. You, Henry, you're going to enter that. The big fix-off? Chuck, that's tomorrow. Hank, let me lay it out for you. You don't enter, you're fired. Then you're going to be a washed-up mechanic, as well as a washed-up driver. Oh, come on, Chuck, you can't be serious. Oh, I get it. This is one of those tough love things. Right? Okay. You're gonna pick your